when being a sperm donor goes terribly wrong guys protect your seed man this story is crazy right here if it's too good to be true it's because it is man do not get screwed do not mess up your life in the name of being a nice guy and helping somebody out man don't do it man learn from this guy's story this is the story of me agreeing to get an older woman pregnant and then her trying to ruin my life when i was 23 i had a one night stand with a girl from my hometown named maria we both knew it was nothing more than that and we didn't speak after Several months later, I received a text from her saying that she had been lucky in love and she wanted the baby before it was too late. So she asked if I would get her pregnant and I wouldn't have to bear any responsibility like a sperm donor. <laughs> you wouldn't have to bear any responsibilities, bro. I cannot believe that he believed that, man. I cannot believe that this guy really believed that a woman said, hey, listen, I want you to get me pregnant, bro, but don't worry about it. You're gonna worry about the baby. I just want a baby. I don't want you to be part of the life. You don't gotta worry about nothing, man. Just, just give me your seed and everything's gonna be okay. Just forget it ever happened. Well, I considered it and I first thought no, but after some you know, time to think about it, I thought it'd be the right thing to do for someone struggling. So we filled out an ironclad agreement and you know, basically I would, wouldn't be responsible at all. A while later, she told me she was ovulating, and then a few weeks after that, she told me she was pregnant and it had worked. I went back to California for work, and we didn't speak after that. Unbeknownst to me, she contacted my family behind my back and invited them to the baby shower. They then began getting dinner or whatever regularly, and as she got to know my parents, my parents started encouraging me to be in the baby's life. Yo, the game this woman, she had it all set up, bro. The game she was running on this dude, bro, he couldn't even fucking see it because he signed a legal document, bro. She went and hit the family, by the way, because she already knew. She already knew what time it was, man. Once she got the grandparents involved, bro, he's like, wait, what? There's a baby? What? what? Like, they ain't gonna give a fuck about no paperwork. They're not gonna care about nothing, man. Once they see the girl, oh, she's pretty. She looks good. She seems nice. Maybe perhaps she should be. <laughs> Once I find out it was a little girl, I thought it was the right thing to do. I flew home to be there for the birth, and I got a tattoo of our daughter's middle name before she was born. After our daughter was born, Maria wanted us to be together and be a family, and... <laughs> this keeps getting worse, man. Let's see what the text message says. He even has baby mom, bro. BM. Uh, I'm gonna stop at Popeye's practice if you want something. Okay, sorry if I seem more just like the shittiest. I want to try and make it work with us being a family. Can we do that? I want to be with you, Brad. I hate when you leave us. I just need you to say something or how you feel about that. I'm sorry, but that isn't what I wanted to do. That hurts. <laughs> when I said I didn't want to do that, she wouldn't let me see my daughter. My main source of income at the time was the Airbnb that I owned. And she said he had money and she knew it. So, okay, so let's look at this message right here. Right? The baby and I need to stay in your house for like two months until I can get our own place and so that I can save a little more. <laughs> for somebody who had nothing to do with this child, bro, yo, she got him good. I am taking a, a position removed, which comes with a huge pay cut, but I won't have to put our daughter in daycare. And I can be, she said, our daughter, and I can be home with her. Looks like we're closing this property on June 9th in uh, Meta I don't know how to pronounce that. So, I'm hoping to be packed up and out of this apartment the weekend prior to the night i put all of my stuff in storage except our clothes can we stay there um kind of important you respond that's all oh, that's still her responding you're deliberately ignoring me and it's extremely frustrating considering i'm asking you to put a roof over your daughter's head your daughter <laughs> remember <laughs> he was i know he wasn't supposed to have a part in this right if you don't want to help us then let's see a lawyer and sign your rights over and let me legally sign what rights over there is not supposed to be any rights to begin with man the only right that that man has is to walk out of your life and never look back that's a few months after she was born I felt bad, so I let her move in for several months, rent-free. Once she moved out, she told me this. I've never done anything to warrant supervised visits, but I agreed to keep the peace. Okay, it says, this is what I want. I want you to pay her daycare. <laughs> full amount, bro. <laughs> she puts it the full amount. She wanted to be clarified. You can have for one full week in a month if you stay at, our pa at your parents. That's how you know that she wanted parents over to get to him, you know, to use them as a, a, as a manipulation tool. Let me know if uh, this works for you. Let's just figure this out before you get into town. I don't want to have to speak to uh, you anymore. Okay, so this okay? I want to get this over with. Can you please respond? We are talking about our child. Our child. We talked about about having some kind of agreement by this evening brad so we need to figure this out if you don't respond to me i'm gonna quit responding to you no you're not i would come home as often as i could to see damn maria 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 she remind me of a west side story okay maria looks good the fact that he felt for the fact that she was not having uh luck with love to have a baby is crazy this guy is a fool man let's look at the, the message up here blake's second birthday 
party with our family and best friends. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who showed up for a sweet girl. A happy girl Christmas morning was so good this year. Santa made her extra play when we love her so much. Merry Christmas to everyone. Man, this dude really fell for it, bro. Your daughter and things were usually okay when I was there. These are all from her Facebook. One Halloween, I didn't want to wear matching costumes with Maria, so she wouldn't let me see my daughter for a while. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to wear matching costumes so she didn't see our daughter imagine you know how the video started with him saying they signed an Aaron Clad. I guess that's the name of the document or whatever it was that they signed and all of a sudden it was supposed to be it's my baby you don't bear the responsibility and I'm hearing a lot of our men throughout this story and when our daughter is being baptized I drove a 14 hour round trip from Nashville to attend and because I didn't want to see Maria the night before she didn't allow me to come to the baptism at all Technically speaking, you shouldn't have been there for nothing, so you, you brought this upon yourself. She served me with child support, saying that our original contract wasn't valid because our daughter didn't have a social security number yet. <laughs> and I didn't fight her on it. Uh, I didn't have. She had the whole thing planned, bro. She said, how can this be a viable contract when she didn't even have a social security number yet? She wasn't even born yet. There wasn't even a human being to attach to a contract. Yo, this woman are smart, man. The time I was living away, I ended up paying her $10,000 up front and 750 a month. I was able to move home soon after that and I began seeing our daughter regularly. Everything was going really well. Damn, Maria. Maria look good, bro. He, how can, see, some dudes do it to themselves, man, because how can you believe that a woman that looks like that, man, is having a hard time finding a dude to knock her up? Well, until I got a girlfriend. Even though she had a boyfriend who was regularly around our daughter, she said that my girlfriend couldn't be around our daughter. I was able to get our daughter for an afternoon and Maria asked what I was doing. I told her that I was with my girlfriend and we were at Lowe's together. She freaked out. I said I'd bring her daughter back to her as soon as we were done, but- Oh, now it's her daughter. Now it's her daughter, right? When it was time to pay the bills, right? Our daughter, right? We should be, uh, we should be a family, right? There was a lot of ours, right? When it came to spending money. Right, but now when you go out with your daughter, but you happen to have a girl with you, your girlfriend is bring my daughter back to me. I'm telling you. Maria drove to Lowe's. Apparently called my dad and was running up and down the aisle screaming. I don't know what actually happened, but she was freaking out, just blowing up my phone, thinking she was in danger. And keep in mind, my girlfriend is a mom as well as a nurse. Our daughter was never in any danger. When I offered Maria and my girlfriend to get to know each other so they'd be comfortable, you know, my daughter being around, she immediately said no and you know called my girlfriend a word that rhymes with chore and refused to get to know her. Maria then made a public post saying that I was a deadbeat dad and that I hadn't <laughs> seen her daughter in weeks. Here I am. You wasn't supposed to be at that to begin with, bro. The way she ran game on you, bro. Listen, I'm telling you, man, I don't feel bad for dudes, man. I really don't feel bad for dudes, man, because you gotta understand, man, there are evil people in the world. An evil person's job is to do evil shit, right? It is your job as a man to have enough respect for yourself, bro, to stand up for yourself and not allow somebody to come and, and run game on you like that, talking about, hey, listen, can you please get me pregnant, man? I'm having a hard time finding love, you know? I just wanna have a baby. You won't bear the responsibilities. Like, how stupid can you possibly be, bro, to fall for something like that? He's not here making it seem like he adopted a child or something like that. He was taking a ch or, or he was, you know, sending money to one of his kids overseas and stuff like that, I mean, to help raise him. It's our daughter just a few days prior to this post. I also left my best friend's bachelor party a day early so I could be home for Father's Day and she still wouldn't allow me to see her. She even said this to my grandmother. She had her friends comment mean things on my girlfriend's social media multiple times, even though my girlfriend has n never been anything but nice to Maria. Because Maria tends to do this, I want to make sure that she doesn't twist the story and make it seem like I... Listen to what Maria said to them, right? So Sandra Coffey says, this is why you should date and marry someone you know and who wants a life with you because children are going to live with these choices. It's precious, but she is, uh, I guess that's the daughter's name, it's precious, but she didn't come into this world under normal choices and circumstances. The guy had no clue what he was getting into. I truly wish you had um, a wonderful life, but choices have consequences. Praying for you to find the guy you're meant to have in the life that makes you happy. Okay, so she responds, Maria responds, no going. She has to be from Thailand, probably. Riz, uh, your response is sickening to me, but I guess since you're his grandmother, of course you'll respond with something like this. The fact that you could turn this around on me and I recognize that he decided that he wanted to be a father. <laughs> 
he had every chance to walk away and honestly i wish he could have but he was there at the hospital he chose to sign the birth certificate so whatever happened prior to went out the window you don't get to be uh a half-assed dad sorry it's his family that enables his behavior let's not forget that both him and his brother have both abandoned their children for long periods of time sometimes seriously wrong with you guys i pray for all of you then maria responds and your grandson put his thing in anything that works because he's reckless or he doesn't know what he was getting himself into so the next poor girl who gets pregnant by him are you gonna say oh well your actions have consequences when he decides to be absent from the child's life too please do not come at me i don't care to hurt any of your feelings k <laughs> yeah you want to be re you want to be reckless with your willy right this is what you get abandon our daughter i recently found out that our daughter isn't mine <laughs> That girl was already pregnant. I knew that when he said, man, uh, a few weeks later she was pregnant. She was already pregnant by some dude and she was trying to put it on this white guy, man, because she knew and understood that he had money. He came from money. You stupid mother. I don't know who the dad is, but I've had two paternity tests done and they both say this. I believed Maria when she told me that I was the only possible father. The situation was weird, but I was always happy to be a dad. I, I knew that Maria already knew she was pregnant and she had to have when she asked me to get her pregnant. I didn't think that, that was something that someone would lie about to another human being. Not only to me, but my entire family as well. Everybody is distraught about this. Maria, I allowed you to paint me as the villain and you as the victim for years to keep peace, but I hope you know that the only victim here is your child. The patience of a white man, bro, when a woman uh, just violates him in the worst way will be something that forever shocks me, man. White dudes, bro, have a level of patience, man, that you can only admire to one day obtain, bro. White dudes have a level of patience, bro, like no other men on planet Earth do. These dudes will walk into their home, bro, that they're paying for, man, and see their wife that stays home with no kids. Why? There's no kids. And she's this thing home, and she walks into the bedroom, man, and there's a guy right there clapping her cheeks, man. White man will put his little fucking snapback on, you know what I'm saying? Talk to his little fitted, and just walk away <laughs> and leave do nothing about it and i say nothing man but yeah man uh, i don't feel bad for people like that bro because it's like come on dude how stupid do you gotta be to allow somebody to trick you into, into a situation like that but there's people like that out there man be careful out there fellas man because uh these women out there in the streets ain't playing with y'all man gonna put a baby on y'all man and i take everything from you talk less do more is an embodiment of the spirit that the broski carries because around here we don't talk about it we'll be about it so if you want to help support and grow the broski army the broski channel the broski movement go out there and get yourself a little water bottle man if you're out there hitting them gyms man get yourself a little coffee you up to remind yourself man stop talking so much man and start doing you know what i'm saying so if you have some goals you're trying to attack man and you want to attach yourself to a meaning that's going to empower you go cop that right now man the link is in the description box man y'all see it below man make sure you subscribe like share and i see you next time peace